Welcome to God's Food for Thought. This week we're talking about complete with the Lord. And we're asking the question, are you missing something? Only God himself is complete, lacking nothing, and only God can complete us. God is complete with what we call the three alls. Number one, he's all-powerful, omnipotent, he's all-knowing, omniscient, and he's all-present, omnipresent. He is all that we need. And remembering the completeness of God, we're doing an acrostic on the word complete. Yesterday, we looked at the letter C, standing for cause, the creative act or power to complete something. When God complete, when he created something, he created it right. Everything was good. It wasn't half good. It was completely good. God is the creator and cause of all existence, period. It did not happen by chance. So C, standing for cause. The next letter of complete is the letter O, which is a full, complete circle, even as the circle of the earth. Once you start going around the earth, it'll never end. And a circle has no beginning or end. In other words, it's missing nothing. God is complete, missing nothing. All the creation, including the angels and heaven, everything had a beginning only God always was. He is the I am. When the Bible talks about in the beginning, it refers to the beginning of the earth and all its fullness. Someday, God will cause a new earth to replace the present earth that contains a blending of good and evil. There's no completeness of good there. This world is is compromised not complete the new earth will be complete fully good well while we're living in a world of incomplete righteousness we have jesus to complete us from the inside out as we wait for his return the apostle paul spoke of this in romans chapter 8 starting in verse 18 and he's looking at the big picture. In other words, not just, well, I'm having problems now and, and that's it. No, he's looking at the complete picture. He says in verse 18, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. The whole creation is, is in that place waiting for the, to be completed again. God, who is the eternal I am, has a plan. And it's a complete plan. And we get to be part of his complete plan. Verse 19 says, For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it in hope. Because the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of of the children of God. It's talking about the completeness of God working in the creation and in his people. For we know that the whole creation groans and labors with birth pangs together until now. Not only that, but we also, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, eagerly waiting for the adoption the redemption of our body. Talking about what's going to happen when the rapture happens. When 
corruption will put on incorruption will be complete in him. The creation itself will be completed and made in brand new actually after the thousand year reign of Christ on earth. The completeness of God assures us of his impending intervention that will leave nothing incomplete. We all have the problems of good and evil and all of that going on. We have the promise of eternity completed in God, the promise of relationship completed by Christ on the cross, the promise of the Holy Spirit completely living with us in the meantime. God will make things right by his complete goodness and power. He is working everything together for his standard of complete good. We are to be with him completely. Not a mixture, not lukewarm, but to be with him completely, especially as the day of his return happens. He says when he comes back, will he find faithfulness? He's looking for people to completely give their lives to him. Every day, we are, need to be growing more completely aware of his presence as we are doing everything through Christ who strengthens us. May our faith be completely rested in Christ Jesus and what he accomplished on the cross. He defeated sin that causes death. He defeated the, the devil. He defeated everything that's coming against what he's working towards, and that is what is good. We need the Lord to open our eyes to what he's doing. Have an ear to hear what he's saying to his church today. O oh Lord, open our ears that we may hear. O oh Lord, open our eyes that we may see. About 30 some years ago, I wrote a song that has those lyrics in it. And we're going to sing that for you right now. And I pray that God is working in your life. Don't forget, he is completely for you. He's looking for our complete faith and trust in return. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.